What's up guys? So I wanted to do a video showing the Ford Transit Connect camper van that myself and my girlfriend have been living in. It's a 2013 model and for those of you who aren't familiar with the Connect, it's actually a really small van. So I'll take you for a tour. So this is it, the Ford Transit Connect. I think it was a 2013 or 2012 model. So basically, to give you a bit of an idea, I've just got some a jersey drying from cycling the other day, it got real wet. To give you an idea, this space in the back, it's only about six foot long. So this is where we've been living for the last, just over a month. It's uh, six foot by about four and a half wide and about the same high. So yeah, it's pretty much a crawl space. I can't even stand up in here, which has made living pretty interesting for the two of us. So to give you a bit of an idea of what we've got going on, we actually travel with two bikes as well. So I've got, that's Taylor's bike there, just an old giant. And uh, I've got my bike out here, the Cannondale CAD 10. So if you imagine, like it's pretty packed when we've got everything in the back, the two bikes, plus all our gear, there's not much space to left over. But that's why we've built things a little bit differently to like what you normally see a uh, uh, with the Ford Transit Connect, so normally you've got what this sort of setup has, as we have. It's like a sofa, which extends out. This actually pulls out, out to about here, and that becomes a bed. I'll show you that later. And so basically, normally you would then see on this side, someone would have like a countertop, but instead of doing that, we've just put a shelf up the top, and we've just, that gives us storage for our bikes. We're gonna do it, be doing a few modifications. We're actually gonna build uh, like a counter that folds out when the bikes aren't here, so that'll be interesting So here we've just got some stuff like hooked up all our like cooking utensils and stuff like that on the back doors It's a bit bright on the back doors. We've literally just got coat hanging hooks four of them and that just hangs like towels backpack More towels. We've got like a rubbish bag hanging there as well on the other side, same sort of deal. We've got like coats and stuff, mostly Taylor's gear actually. A couple of bike helmets. Up top here. Pretty much all our cooking stuff is up on this top shelf. We don't have much. You know, we've got a pasta strainer and a wok for frying stuff up. Uh, the pasta pot, you know, some spoon, some utensils and stuff in there, measuring cup, bowls, one chopping board. We'd Bluetooth speaker and some batteries. I don't know. It's my fault. They shouldn't be up there. And uh, blender as well. Although we've never actually used the blender, but it's pretty much there for show at this point. I'm just making this video while I wait for some rice and sweet potatoes to cook. Over here, we've got our water filter. Uh, sorry, our, our five-gallon uh, water jug. And so basically, you can buy these at Home Depot and Walmart, I think. And it's literally like 15 bucks, and that's a hand pump. So that literally gives us super easy you just pump the water out instead of having to tip it over all the time it's like the best investment you can make and that water we get it from natural grocers and it's reverse osmosis so it's like fully filtered they filter all the chlorine fluoride and other like dirt and stuff out which is pretty sick yeah reverse osmosis look into it it's really sick up the top here it's just kind of like the everything shelf i guess literally we've got like battery packs aloe vera Taylor's all her like makeup stuff. My laptop's up there, propane bottles. We've got like a propane stove as well, just hidden behind here. So basically we've got like a solar setup and that's what the rice is cooking with right now. That's, it's all hooked up, but sometimes we don't have enough solar. So that's when we use the propane burner. So yeah, we've got propane bottles, tennis balls. We've been playing tennis lately. Toilet paper, can't go anywhere without it. And then just a bunch more stuff back there. Then if you pop through to the, you can just pop through to the front. And that's it, that's the size of the van. Literally, we've got some stuff up on the front dashboard. We're not too sure what to do with all our clothes when they're like dirty or wet at the moment. So I've just literally chucked on my cycling gear up there. Another tennis racket. Got a bike pump down there near the gear lever there. Some shoes in the front. And I'll show you what's under the bed now. So basically under the bed is where we keep all our clothes and stuff like that so this first drawer is mine which makes it super easy because I can access it from outside and I've just got like all my cycling gear just some like you know warm jumpers and pants and stuff like that shirts just like all the basic real basic gear the next one on's Taylor's same sort of deal and we've got a couple of little ones 
the last one on is where we keep all our food. Basically, literally beans, rice, oats, and sugar, and some spices, tomato sauce. Like, there's not much more in there besides that. Obviously, sriracha, Tabasco sauce. You know, you can't go wrong with those. And then, beside that, down here, if you can see that, that's our battery. And so that's just, that's like the, uh, what powers our rice cooker and stuff like that. And that gets charged by the solar panel. We've also in, inserted, a, or installed a battery isolator switch. So it also gets charged from the car alternator when the, when the car battery is fully charged. So that's pretty cool. I might do a video about how we set that up at some point. Push this back in. Try and show you how this bed extends out. Basically, it should just be as simple as pulling it straight out. Sometimes it's a bit hard, especially on your own. Basically just extends out like that. And then we just simply like pull this mattress. Simply, just simply pull this mattress. <laughs> it's a little harder when you're on your own and you're using one hand to film. That mattress comes out like that. Sorry about the lighting. And then this one just kind of tucks in there. It actually has worked out perfectly. Just tucks under there, like that. That tucks in like that. Ooh, curtain came down. Curtain's a bit of a uh, work in progress still. And there you have it, that's pretty much how we sleep. We sleep with the pillows at this end though. So then we can lean up on the back doors and it's actually super comfortable. Like it's, at first we were sleeping down at that end, where the pillows are now. And it was actually so uncomfortable, but since we made the switch, it's just been great. And at night, we actually just take the bikes and put them in the front seat, both of them. And then we get this little bit of extra space just to like throw our feet over the edge. And usually we have our like cooking and stuff up the end there. So it works out pretty well. Yeah, so this here, this is literally what we use to hook the bikes up. It's just like an adjustable um, paracord thing. That works out perfectly and we just take that and hook it up at the other end there and works out really well so now I'm just going in behind the passenger seat on the uh, right hand side because it's in the US been looking for that water bottle got our uh, tennis rackets back here and underneath the curtain this is sort of the some of the solar setup anyway that there's a charge converter so basically the uh, solar panels, the voltage is like too high to directly charge the batteries. So that converts it to, you know, something more suitable, probably around 13 volts to charge our secondary battery. And then under here you can see that's the inverter, which is obviously then connected up to the battery, directly to the secondary battery. And that gives us um, AC power and we can charge like USBs and stuff like that. Uh, it has like direct input for that. So it's all worked out really good with the setup. Like I said, I ended up also hooking up some of the battery cables we've related to it uh, to the alternator as well, and that's just given us that little bit extra. So anytime we drive, it probably charges the battery if the battery's at like 15% after only an hour or two. So it's worked out really well. Front's looking a bit messy at the moment. Got a bike pump down here. I literally just put all my shoes in the front there kind of one of those things like this van's so small it's, it can be hard to find somewhere to put stuff also it's not exactly the most comfy front seat because like the charge controller and the tennis rackets behind there I need to probably do something with that I'll try and open up this door and show you what's in here the uh, locks broken on this side so I have to open it from the inside and unlock from the inside first it doesn't unlock automatically but basically, same deal, you can just sort of access the food, which is super handy for when we're filling our groceries, we can come to this door. We have a bit more food, just like shoved down the back there. And then you can see the uh, secondary battery there again, just a lead acid battery. You can see how she's mounted. Taylor built like all this bed. She did heaps of this work on her own. I haven't been here, I've been in Australia. So the majority of the work on the van, she did herself. Oh, one thing I've missed out, which is pretty cool to point out, is our fan literally super essential if i was going to get one thing for a van it would be a fan because it's so important to have that airflow 
This thing's great. It's uh, Max Air Plus, I think. Max Air Plus fan. This thing here adjusts it. You can drive with the hood up as well. Just pull that out, and that's it was already up, so I've just put it down now. Put it back up, and I'll turn it on. You can see it lifting up. And then basically, I'm literally laying on the bed now. You've got your on off. You can change the direction of rotation. And you've got different settings. And it turns up really high and it also turns down quite low as well. One thing we have noticed with this fan is that in one direction it squeaks. And it's pretty new as well. And we looked online and basically they were like people in forums and stuff were saying that that's a common issue with this. And the manufacturer literally just recommends to run it on high for like 24 hours. So, you know, a little bit odd, but besides that, this fan's been great. Super essential though. I'll show you it on top. Because the good thing about this van is it's super stealth, even though we've got the solar and the fan on there. But you see that, that's the solar just there. One solar panel. We've got space for a second if we want it. There's the fan. But if you look at it from a bit of a distance, I'm literally in the car park at Taylor's school right now. She's off doing a class or something. I'm just like hanging out, making lunch. I mean, it's not looking the most stealth right this minute, but <laughs> the doors are closed and whatnot. You can imagine that. I'll show you, hang on. All right, that probably paints a slightly better picture than before. I mean, depending on what we're doing, we'll be splayed out or we'll be trying to keep it a little bit stealth. Normally we've been staying just at Walmarts, a lot of them just allow camping, you don't even really need to ask. Or I should say, they allow overnight parking, I should say. Also some of the Planet Fitnesses do as well, which has been great. Staying at the Planet Fitness, we can just literally shower. Taylor has a card that lets her, it's a black card, and for 20 bucks a month she can take uh, another person in with her. So I just go in and shower on her card, it's been awesome, and we can work out and stuff like that. And yeah, we stayed at, we literally stayed at a Planet Fitness last night. And you know, you can just go into libraries and stuff like that. Like, not all the libraries are open at the moment because of COVID, but like the, I think it's the Olathe Library, uh, not too far from here is open. It's really nice and new. We've also been studying at the library uh, in Lawrence, Kansas University. And it's just been great. Like the Wi-Fi is good. You can, you can access everywhere. And yeah, it's free. Right, I'm just chilling in the back of the van again. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, leave a comment, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if I get around to it, I might make some more videos if this one gets some interest.